Mm. Hello, Vincent. Uh, we are happy to be here in this uh, wonderful countryside of uh, Belgium, where your ice cream are produced. Exactly. We have a very nice countryside and we choose this part of, the, of Belgium, uh, in the suburb of Liège, let's say, to create or to, to find the best ingredient for our ice cream. Um, that are quite special because we know how is quite unique in Belgium. We decided to create, in fact, uh, the first artisanal no added sugar ice creams because, because our um, uh, insight, in fact, is that there is too much sugar in the alimentation today, in the food industry, and especially in ice cream. And sugar is taking so much space in the taste and the mouth that you don't feel anymore the authentic side of the, the flavors and the and that's why we, we worked like three years to uh, set up a unique recipe from um, natural, only natural ingredients. And that was a lot of work. And we replaced, for example, sugar by uh, natural sweeteners, such as stevia, for example, that's quite well known. And uh, we use uh, cream, fibers and so on. That's made like a very premium ice cream but that can deliver in the first step the authentic side of the flavor. So when you are eating, for example, a vanilla ice cream, you feel the vanilla pods, you feel the real side of vanilla and not only sugar or caramel side, you can taste with some industrial ice creams. And so the reason why we are here is the fact that the first ingredient we use is milk, for example. It's a fresh milk delivered each morning by the farmer of the of our region and we pasteurize it freshly made from the morning. We have all the power of the fresh milk that's just delivering the best taste in our ice cream. That's why they are um, so special. Okay, the milk that here is produced <laughs> here just beyond us. Hello, girls. <laughs> and could you tell us a little bit more about uh, the history of uh, Franklin, Franklin ice cream? In fact, uh, our ice cream were born in Banche. Uh, the development of the idea was between 2012 and uh, 2014, if I remember well. And um, that was lots of work because uh, three people worked together. Uh, a chemist uh, from the food industry, a doctor in the food, specialized in food and alimentation, and also uh, Franklin, my former associate that died uh, in 2018. That was an artisan, ice cream artisan and they wanted to create all the best products uh, possible. And then the launch, the real launch of the brand Franklin in Belgium were, was in 2016, uh, when I dropped my last uh, job in a private company in 2015, uh, and I started from zero. And um, we grew in Belgium only in the retail industry, so uh, in the, the bigger, uh, the major uh, retailers in Belgium, such as Carrefour, Deleuze, uh, uh, Match, Cora, uh, OK, um, and so on, and other, and other again. We have around, today, we have around 900 uh, retailers selling our ice creams, our little ice cream. And um, we hope to uh, sell our little ice cream in um, countries bordering Belgium in the next years or so, because our uh, products even five years after remains very unique in the proposition and in the values we propose with um, yeah the, the fact is nutri score A, uh, low sugar, rich in fiber and uh, working with local businesses also. So we are already working with our environment, social, ecological and also um, economic. Okay, great. Uh, and um, you decide to uh, go for a near P solution. But what were, what were the issues you had before uh, choosing an ERP solution? In fact, our ice cream is quite uh, artisanal and uh, the way of working is quite a young company. So we started working, uh, selling our ice creams in 2016. Uh, we are only five in the, in the team. And uh, I wanted to professionalize the way we were, we were working with the planning production, the inventory and the order of raw materials. Uh, because we were doing it with Excel sheets so far and phone calls and, uh, and uh, physical inventories. Uh, and, um, and then I was looking for a partner able to do that in an easy way. Uh, and um, Odoo seems like uh, has been a first thing already recommended, but lots of people in my, uh, in my uh, uh, colleagues and, uh, and partners. And also um, it looks like the first contact I had with the, the program and the the solution was like evidence, like quite obvious as a solution uh, to implement and to be able also to develop after 
other solutions around that could easily be combined directly to the, the, let's, the first uh, version of our uh, system. Okay, thanks a lot. And so it was important for you to find a software that was able to uh, help Franklin Ice Cream to keep growing in the coming years. Yeah, in fact, we want to professionalize in order to get more efficient uh, and yeah, to prepare our future. And your future is, yeah, <laughs> we are quite f fastly growing at the moment and uh, we need to prepare the years that are coming. And that's the first step uh, about our uh, IT organization, let's say. Okay, great. And uh, so it's important to have a, a good methodology in order to implement those kind of software. Could you tell us a little bit more uh, about the, te the methodology BHE and Odoo use in order to uh, implement uh, an ERP solution? In fact, we worked quite easily, let's say, in the way that I did not have any uh, tender to, uh, to propose. And I came with a clear idea of what I wanted, a business uh, ID. And then the role of uh, the BHC team was to understand my business uh, objectives and to translate them in uh, the Odoo language. And uh, we started with the first uh, idea of the design we wanted to implement. Uh, what people uh, at BHC explained to me what I could do and what I couldn't. Uh, and we just adapted my, my business uh, needs to uh, the Odoo platform, respecting my goals, but respecting also Odoo's capabilities. And we arrived to something quite similar to what I wanted uh, around my, um, about my um, expectations. And we, I think that Odoo gets, got adapted more to my needs than my business will need to adapt a bit to uh, the way of working of Odoo. So um, that's, I think, the, the proof that it's the right solution for us. Okay. So it was a flexible solution that was able to uh, be adapted to your needs and your daily work. Yeah, no, I was quite surprised that um, it's a like, uh, it's a system that's quite universal for every kind of business. And I found quite easily the way of working with my business. And that's quite interesting to see how it has been well prepared uh, forward by the team of uh, Odoo to propose a solution that is quite easily adaptable to any kind of business. And so that's why, uh, that's why I, quite, I was quite reassured about my choose of uh, Odoo and, and then BHC. Okay, great. And uh, when you start using Odoo on a daily basis, what was the difference uh, if you compare before uh, with the Excel sheet and now with Odoo? What I can already say is that we have much more confidence in the information we have and in the um, follow-up of the information and the traceability also of the information of the, the stocks of the, the, the production planning and so on. Um, it's much more easy also to share the information with my partner here in Liège because uh, we're working from uh, Jeanneval and I'm from Banche, so you can see, <laughs> yeah, we move quite a lot. And, um, and so that's important to, to have a global view and also a very accurate view on a few, uh, few elements you, we need. It's very fast to get the information and very clear to get it also. So it's what I was clearly looking for, something professional, easy and, and trustable, let's say. So uh, if you have to recommend Odoo and uh, BHE to uh, one of your partner or to everyone that is uh, looking for, uh, listening to uh, this customer case, what will be the element uh, you will put forward? First of all, I think that every solution has pro and con. So I would first have a little talk with the person I'm talking with to be sure that Ozu could be the, uh, the right solution. It's, it's, a, it's like a marriage. So you have to be sure on both sides that it's a, the right solution. And in many ways, Ozu can be the solution. And um, I, would, I would put forward, uh, firstly, the easy way of implementation and taking in in hands, let's say, the system when you start using it. The very flexible way of adding components or removing some if the business does evolve, so what's always the case. And the, the size is very cost effective, like solution also. Uh, so that are lots of points that are that uh, company owners as uh, when they are choosing a solution. So the, the price, the flexibility 
and the, the, the easiness to use it. Okay, thanks a lot. And could you tell us which module you are using in Odoo today? Mm, yeah, sure. In fact, um, when I start working and explaining my needs, my business needs to a BHT team, uh, we rapidly came to the fact that I had to use three modules. The first one was the purchase one, the second one, the MRP, and then the inventory. Uh, why two, three modules? Because my objective is in fact to, uh, at the beginning of the year, let's say, uh, plan all my productions of the year uh, for every flavor and every format, let's say, every size of, of products. And then uh, as there is uh, for each recipe and each format uh, a list of ingredients and materials to use, that could directly have an impact on our inventory and then a link with the purchase side. So I mean, the most important was to be able to have global view and the global planning of my yearly production. And then knowing before the volume of each ingredients I would use for the year and then be able to negotiate it with my suppliers to, for, to get the prices. And then along the year and depending on the evolution of the business, be able to adapt or change the planning of production, but having directly, um, let's say, uh, an alert if I need it to order uh, a new, uh, a new, uh, a new uh, product, a new uh, raw material, because I was missing some in a few months. And then just um, avoid to be um, out of stock on a material because it's very hard to start the production and just uh, noticing that you miss one ingredient. It's like you can put everything in the bin. So it's like, uh, it's, it's very uh, thing to, uh, to anticipate. And then, but there is also the inventory part because each end of year, we need to uh, confirm the inventory to be sure to realign the uh, real inventory, the, physic, the physical inventory to the, uh, let's say the informatical, uh, the digital inventory uh, to be sure we are aligned for the next year. But this way of working, make closer the inventory, the physical inv inventory to the, let's say the Odoo inventory. So a real strategical workflow for your company. It's very strategical. Uh, and the reason why I decided to do it is because um, we changed our way of working with our partner and I wanted them to be more autonomous. And I wanted to get the end on the purchases and the stock follow-up, the inventory. Uh, and I had no time to do it. So I choose the best way to do it and the most efficient way to do it. And that's where Odoo came with the answer. Okay. And uh, you're talking a lot about uh, growing, uh, fast, uh, um, moving and so on. What, what will be the next step with Odoo? Today you use it for stock man manufacturing and so on, but what will be the next step with Odoo? That's a good question. Um, I'm quite a new user, so I think I still have to learn about uh, Odoo. Um, so I, I, I think that first of all, I can go further maybe in the use of the components I've already choose and maybe customize them a bit more regarding my business. That could maybe be the first step. And then um, I'm, I'm using for them three components, I think, uh, about uh, Odoo. It's the planning, uh, inventory and orders. So the, the buying uh, side. Um, and maybe I could use it. Um, I don't know if my company is growing for uh, sales, uh, for the sales on the field, uh, for the solution for um I, I i i'm even not sure to know all the components but because i i, I came with a very clear id but i think that no i'm with odoo i will get uh some business needs that will come in the future and i will keep talking with my partner like uh, bhc to be sure what i could how i could answer to that uh to that yeah to that problem or uh to the yeah to the need i could have in the future okay and um, you're talking about BHC, so our company, uh, Odoo Partner. Why do you, do you decide to go with BHC? And could you tell us a little bit more about uh, the relationship we had during the project? Yeah, in fact, I chose BHC because first of all, um, they have been recommended by uh, one of your former customers. Um, secondly, uh, the fact that you are in uh, Mons, well, I'm from Bench, I'm, I like working with uh, local people in Eno uh, because that's one like entrepreneur, like um, participating to the growth of my environment and my region. Um, then uh, I liked also the first contacts we had with you and the team. Um, lots, lots of listening, understanding my business needs, 
and the way you were uh, organizing and making the, let's say, the retro planning of the project that could reassure me in the way the project would be led and, uh, and efficiently and clearly for me because uh, I'm, I've, let's say, as a customer, I have no time to develop it. That's why I'm here with you. And uh, I was reassured in the way you could handle all the, the, the process, let's say, and just making me, me aware of it to let me working on my business and uh, be accompanied by, the, by, the, by a partner like you. Okay. And if you have to summarize the collaboration with BHE and, and a word on Odoo in one sentence? Uh... Let's say what I felt a family and professional business. Okay. So thanks a lot, for, uh, Vincent, for uh, this uh, interview. My pleasure. Uh, I wanted to say thank you for the collaboration and the project. And uh, to uh, the person that are listening to our customer case, please go ahead and test your ice cream because they are really succulent. Mm. I can't stop eating it mm. on a daily basis. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>
decided to stay in the most standard way of working and making it evaluate after yeah. uh, when I will have the program more in hands mm -hmm. and uh, know better about what I should need more on top of that. Okay. And as you decided to keep the standard, did you have to adapt your own processes to, to fit with what Odoo could offer you? Um, not really. It's just in the way of ordering things or uh, not really. It's not big changes. My mm -hmm. partner in production won't change anything about his way of working. Um, and uh, no, no, I, I will just, in fact, I had, I had no pr a real process before because mm -hmm. we were quite a small company and okay. just standardizing or, or process for the first time. So just we just we are just standardizing it in the way of Odoo. So it's easier to start working like that than coming with already very yeah. clear processes and having to adapt them to Odoo. Um, so that was maybe a good point for us to use Odoo uh, too. Okay. okay. Can you remind us what were you using exactly before before you started with Odoo? You said, you, did you have any we were, ERP software? We, yeah, we were using Excel. It's ah, coming yeah. from a little company coming from Microsoft. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. I've heard of it. I've heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, another question that we are having is, um, uh, oh. do you manage ice cream nutrition facts and show it on the packaging on the Odoo website? Um, on the Odoo website, what's the link yeah. between the Odoo website and... Oh, so, sorry, I can repeat. Facts. So, like, do you manage the ice cream, like, there's some nutrition facts which are required to be displayed on the packaging. So do you also yeah. put this on the on the website? Ah, on our website, yeah, um, yeah, uh, for sure. We are, for example, the the low sugar side. Uh, the fact that we have less than five five percent of sugar by uh, one hundred grams uh, in our recipes um, is a fact that we we put on our uh, packaging and also on our website. Uh, the Nutri Score, mm -hmm. is, is the European standards we use that just put a, that's a standard that just uh, uh, classifying all the products regarding their nutritional values from A, the best, to E, the worst. Um, and I think that is it, Okay. I would say. Okay, thank you. Uh, we're having another question from Juan, who's asking, uh, did you use a consultant company to help you to set up your production in Odoo, or did you do it by yourself? And also the, another question is, uh, did you set up some quality control system in your manufacturing processes? Okay, uh, so to, to the first question, uh, I worked with BHC. Mm -hmm. So um, I came by myself with a clear idea of what I wanted uh, about the process uh, I wanted to set up uh, with Odoo. Um, and uh, I didn't need any help to do it because I did not come with a tender. Uh, I came with, a, let's say, a, uh, yeah, a design of what I wanted. I explained it and they understood it and they translated it in uh, the Odoo language and we quite rapidly found uh, uh, the solution. And um, the second question was, sorry, uh, again. Uh, did you put some quality control in the manufacturing process? Yeah, but uh, for sure, from the beginning, uh, we started working and producing ice cream. We had to, uh, regarding regulations from the APSCA and, uh, and uh, production, um, plants, we had to put some processes for the traceability, for mm -hmm. uh, quality control and so on. There are regulations behind, um, and that's all the job of my uh, production partner. That is to, for example, to test some productions uh, about microbiology and so on, to be sure that everything is, is clean and, and good, mm -hmm. and it is. And was it easy to translate all this uh, requirement into, uh, into Odoo? To set up all the control points in Odoo? Actually, actually, we do not use uh, all the this module in Odoo in this way for the moment. Mm -hmm. It will be certainly an evolution, but okay. at the moment, not yet, because uh, it's already in the process of my partner. They are quite artisanal too, and um, they are not very um, hands-on on computers. Let's say they mm -hmm. are. They are 55 plus and uh, still working with paper more than more than Excel, let's say. Mm -hmm. And um, and so they have very clear standards and they're working with uh, quality consultants to do all the process uh, in their own company. But they are not following for the moment everything uh, on Odoo. I just want to start firstly with them, uh, with the, um, 
the other modules and then I will mm -hmm. go on one step more with the quality path for them when they will already have uh, the other system in hands. Okay. Well, speaking of the future, could you tell us a bit more about the, the next steps that you're planning with Odoo, the next applications you want to implement, the new features you, you will need in the future? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, I think we, we just spoke about uh, yeah the quality. We can go much more further than what we will do uh, in the first step. Um, I can also go further than what I do with uh, the purchase part mm -hmm. that is not already automatized, automatic. Um, and maybe for the, the sales part, I think you should have, uh, and I'm yet, not yet sure because I have to explore all the uh, new solutions that I don't know yet uh, by heart. But um, I would say the yeah the sales part for the for my field my team on the field um, just to do this, a kind of CRM adapted to or uh, or uh, visits commercial visits. Uh, mm -hmm. That's a good idea, maybe. After uh, about my, I don't know, uh, my p or uh, yeah. my financial management of my company, I could also use it if solutions can be adapted to my, to my needs. Why not? Okay. So still a lot of projects in perspective. <laughs> yeah. In fact, that's why I choose Odoo is the fact that you can combine everything. You can make the system easily evaluate with your needs mm -hmm. and, uh, and make it, make, make it it evaluates uh, when you need it uh, okay. and everything is always compatible and that's a very important point. Yeah. Thank you very much, Vincent. We're running out of time. So, so I'm sad. I'm sorry if we're going to have to stop here, but thank you very much for mm -hmm. being here and thank you to all the people who asked the question in the chatter. Thank you too. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Thanks. Mm -hmm.